Hello guys, back to another video. Today we're playing no clip VR, obviously. Today I'm going to show you guys how to beat abandoned office and cavesism as fast as I can. If you're playing casually or you're just trying to speedrun the level as best as possible. I'm going to show you guys how to do code names, how to get every single button slash lever, and what rooms to check for codes instead of opening useless doors. Let's get into it. Now, there is comes code things that make it confusing to show you where the codes are going to be. Now, if you're doing a tutorial, there's someone's going to go straight through there. If someone is going to go right, check these two doors and then wait there for other people. So, let's make our way down there. I'm going to show you guys the safe, like good doors and what to do. Now, first off, whoever's going right, check these two because numbers can spawn on those two as shown. Okay? Anyways, let's go over here. Let's go over here, you gotta open this door, check for code, and then hit button. This is the first button, you need to do this to progress in this level. You're then gonna go over to this door, which is right beside it, and check for it. We got two. Check all these shelves, because they can spawn on anyone. So, let's say we got two, eight, no, six, two, six. That's good. Do not check that door, or that door, because they're both useless and they won't spawn code. See, they won't spawn anything. Even though this is a wooden table, it will not. And we're gonna go through here. Do not check this room because it does nothing. Nothing there. Now, well, now when you go in, I'm gonna show you how to get levers and buttons as fast as you can in here, and how to get codes as fast as you can. How to get codes as fast as you can, and what are safe doors to go through to get codes is this one. Check there for code. Go this way in here check for code right there they cannot they cannot spawn in this door since it's a steel table remember that you're gonna go here just from there and then open the lever or click it i don't think code does not spawn on table or that so you make your way over here and do not open this door since it will not spawn because it's a corner desk you're gonna go here to turn on the button right here bam i got the button ignore that one when you go there so pretty much you came from entrance, you check there, and you check here, you got lever, you made your way over here, you ignored that door, and you got button. Because if you open this door, it's a corner desk, it does not work. Two bathrooms are useless, do not go in them, they won't spawn code or anything. You go here to check it out I guess, but don't do it. You're going to skip this room because it's a locker room. See? Then you're going to do the last two, you're going to check there. You're gonna check there. This room's useless because it just has boxes. You're gonna make your way over here and click that lever. Make sure you have a button clicked. And now you get to move on. So we got six and two. You get to open this door. So when it turns green, you click all the switches and buttons on this side. This is what we call section one. This is what we call section two. You're gonna come into here, check that table, right into here, turn on lever. Now do not check in here, cause it's a steel table, see? You're gonna walk into here, do not check this cause it's the lobby, just keep going. As soon as you get in here, you're gonna go left, into here, check that, check that, and then check there. You're gonna make your way out here, and now we're gonna follow the table rule. See how there's two doors with tables in front of them? That's not a good room, and that's not a good room, because this is empty, and this one just leads you to literally nothing, no codes or anything. So remember these two rules. Do not go on either one of those. Now these two are safe. Bam, you might get it there. You might get it there. This one's the right. it just has boxes. Now these two, make sure there's void doors. That's a void, and that's void. Make sure not to go in there or fall. Now, when you're near the code thing, this is where you put your codes in with the numbers you just got. You go in here. Now ignore everything around you. It can, uh, spawn. It can maybe spawn there. Check in here. We got two, six, six. Now, the two other spots you're gonna check. These are the last ones. Bam. And bam. Check these three steels. And that, just to make sure. And that's how to do bandit office. Watch it again if you need to know how to do it, and maybe get on the game to try it.
We are now in caves. It is pretty quiet here until you start moving and the entity spawns, maybe. Now, when you spawn back here, I'm going to show you it's a very simple. It's just right, left, right, left, right. No, left, right, left. It, just watch me. You spawn here. You're going to make your way down here, which is left. You're going to make it right here. Do not go that way. Just turn right. Keep going. Ignore that pathway back there. Ignore this one. Keep going until you get to a dead end. Left. Okay. Then right. Okay. Do not go that way. Make sure to go this way. And then another right. You can ignore this one. Go up one more and then go that way. You can still go that back way. But this is just faster because if you go that way, you'll still get lead through back here. Anyways, you're going to go this way. Into back here. This is really tricky. Do not go right. Go left. Okay. Ooh. Turn right, another right. That actually scared me, bro. I'm actually shivering. And then you made it to the portal. If you keep going down here. Anyways, thanks for watching. This is how you do the two new levels, to my understanding and knowledge. This is the best way to do it at the moment. Until you know, we figure out new ways. I'm gonna be posting a new speedrun soon. I'm gonna be attempting a solo since solo is now are freaking hard bro, I'm not even joking. Anyways, thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe and like, yeah.